guys Rosie Hi. Uh, Sri Lanka were 24 more no loss in 3 overs when you got the spinner was it a game plan or was it a plan B considering to take off the pace of the ball yeah the, the way Sri Lanka came out with the bat um, put us on the back foot and I thought they batted really well and attacked um, to hoo hoo and divine so ideally I would have liked to have got a few more overs but I realised they were going hard and wanted to take the pace off so I know we've got a lot of bowlers um, that can do a job at any stage of the game so I'm confident the way other teams come at us I've got my options. Um, you mentioned yesterday that you're one of the best fielding sides in the competition. Uh, you, it, it was another display of brilliant fielding again today. So how important or do you, would you consider your fielding as your strongest or your strength? Uh, in this competition? Yeah, it's a massive part of 2020 cricket. Um, if you can get run outs um, of key batters and I guess get across the boundary and stop boundaries throughout the game, it's really crucial. And um, in the big games as well, it's really important that our fielding's up to scratch. So really pleased with the way we fielded today. Um, we were clean with everything we did, so hopefully we can keep that standard throughout the whole tournament. But look, I back our batting, bowling and our fielding. If we can do all three facets well, we'll go well in the tournament. Uh, Susie, hi. Uh, talking about the fielding, how uh, crucial were those three runouts? Uh, seeing that Dilani was in great touch with the bat, so how would you? Uh, how crucial was those three runouts, and how did it change the game for you guys? Yeah, I think it was. Um, it was an, at a pretty important time, but I think probably the turning point was in that first six when our spinners came on and and pegged it back, and then through the middle we were able to defend the boundaries and take wickets consistently, and we took wickets in other ways. But the runouts were a crucial part, and we had pressure on them the whole way through after that first six. Sri Lanka were 39 for no loss at the power play over, which is a good start in women's cricket, and then the next. 14 overs was 70 odd for 8. Which which particular moment do you think changed the game in your favour? Yeah, look, I think they were ahead of us after the power, the batting power play. And um, oh look, I backed once I got the spinners on and took the pace off the ball. They were going to have to hit it over our fielders once we could get five out. And I knew we could keep it to under sixes at least. And taking wickets, it was really hard for the new batters to get going. So turning point was probably when Kasparik and Nielsen came on. Um, in that first six. And uh, you almost kept on changing the field every three, four balls and your fields were quite straight. Was it to uh, surrender and kind of manage the big hitting? Yeah, I think from playing them at home in New Zealand last series, we didn't see them hit us down the ground a lot. So I wanted to try and get a few dot balls in and over if I could, but then I also wanted to protect the boundaries. So it was a little bit of give and take of keeping the field up, but not leaking boundaries as well. And they were aggressive, um, which perhaps more aggressive than they were when they came to New Zealand. So I had to make sure I was still not um, getting too many boundaries. Um, you also yesterday mentioned about Rachel Preet just being one innings away from you know finding her touch. Do you think today was the innings? Yeah, it was great to see her get a few out of the middle. And credit to Sri Lanka, I thought they bowled really well to um, Priesty and myself. They they had a plan and they, they bowled to it and it made it difficult for us to access the boundary. But um, Priesty stuck at it and it's just really good to see the ball flying off the middle of the bat. She would have liked to have stayed out there a bit longer, but the way Sarah McGlashan came in as well and just finished the game off was really nice to see.